Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down I feel like the last time I gave you this kind of update, I went ahead and jinxed myself. So fingers crossed this update isn't gonna do that again. Oh. What's up guys? Good afternoon. How are you today? I am back to give you guys another update. I am kind of sulking in my bed a little bit, but I will get over it. I am excited to still bring you guys the news no matter what the news is. So if you guys are not caught up or you're new and you don't really know where we're at as far as the moving process, I'll link any relevant videos down below and I'll list the particular video that I'm talking about up in the iCards for you guys to see. But the last time I gave you guys any kind of update on where we were with moving and staying in this house and Daryl's job, I feel like I went and jinx myself just a tiny bit because I told you guys that my landlord has been absolutely amazing and he's been allowing us to stay here month to month until we were able to purchase a house of our own and we had been actively looking over the past few months as soon as things started to open up here and real estate agents were allowing you to do more than just virtual tours we started going back into looking the job opportunities had opened up Jarrell was getting tons of offers and we were just deciding which one was best for our family whether it would be money wise job requirements location of the actual place he would be working we were trying to weigh out all of the options and then we got hit with a whole cluster of another set of events. So just a little side note, but completely relevant. When we pay rent to our landlord, we give him a couple of checks at a time. So I'll just post a, a couple of checks ahead of time, whether it be two or three months. And this way we don't have to see him all of the time. We're pretty good about not needing him as long as nothing's breaking down or it's something minuscule. We just take care of it ourselves. We do all the yard maintenance. So he literally 
really has no reason to come here. So he came a couple of days after I talked to you guys last to pick up checks for July and August. And so I told him, these are probably going to be the last checks I need to give to you. Daryl has a bunch of offers on the table. And so once we accept one, we'll be able to officially start making bids on houses that we're looking at. And so he kind of said like, hmm, that's unfortunate. And I was a little taken back by that at first because I'm thinking, wow, that's great news. You know, you would think, you would say like, wow, that's great. And he said, we're coming into the season where it's impossible for me to rent. He said, once the school season starts up, no one's really looking to move. And so if you guys leave during that time, there's a good possibility you're gonna leave me in the predicament and where I'm not gonna have anybody to rent the home. And so at first I was a little taken back by that because we moved into this house on October the 29th. And like I said, if you guys aren't aware, we were scammed in the house we moved into prior to here. And so I literally had zero choices when we were looking for a place. I called every single real estate agent, everybody who had places for rent, looking for anybody who would be willing to listen to our story and be kind enough to allow us to kind of skip protocol and get into rental into a home. And when I called the realtor that was responsible for all of these houses, He's the one who said to me, hey, I have a landlord right now that has five houses that are not being rented right now. So it's in his best interest to meet with you guys and talk with you guys. So let me connect the two of you together. And the rest is history. But five houses in October of last year of his were not being rented. So obviously you're used to not having people at that time to be able to rent your house. And I don't really feel like that's my responsibility to make sure that he has a renter. However, on the flip side of what I just said, nobody was willing to give us a chance when we first moved in here. With everything that had gone on, we were scammed out of every extra dollar that we had. Everything else was tied up into pending our home to close. Everything we owned was in a pod besides what we brought on our back. We had nothing to show for ourselves. And so it really, we could have been in a way worse situation. We lucked out to be in a safe neighborhood, in a good home, in a good school district. So it just worked out and I'm so grateful for him. And so he pretty much said, I can't tell you guys can't move out, but I'm asking as a favor, if by July 15th, you guys don't have like your hooks in a house where I can start showing this house to other people for the potential to rent, then I'm going to ask you to stay for a little bit longer. So I kind of went in that first time after talking with him and I was a little upset at first. And I was kind of, you know, I kind of had the attitude like, he could not tell me I have to stay here. This is ridiculous. But then after I called my mortgage broker, he kind of calms me down a little bit because he said, Kira, we have one week left of June. And then we're into July. Like that's not leaving us very much time to get everything that we would need to do done. At best, it would take me 45 to 60 days to get you into a home. And so we sat down and we talked about it for a long time. We talked about it with Paul because we wanna make smart decisions for him because as a contributor to the home, we want him to feel like he still has his own space, which is why we were actively looking for something with a mother and daughter suite or something where we could have almost made like a tiny home like what Vanessa had in the back of our property for him just like his own little bachelor pad kind of thing we all felt that would be the best solution for all of us to live and coincide together um so this kind of hit us a little hard but Things are getting crazy here again. We just hit 10,000 cases here. My family said even in New York, they don't even think they ever had 10,000 cases in one day. And it was running rampant there. So what are we saying about here? It 
it's not pretty. Things are shutting back down again and we're preparing for the next school season and it looks like I'll be homeschooling. And so we just pretty much decided, all right, yes, we are moving, but we're officially moving in here. We've not unpacked half of our stuff. Our whole life was in boxes. The other half of our life is in a storage shed that we got prior to knowing that Paul was coming down here so that once he came, he could shove all of his stuff in there. And so we have this big old large storage shed with my stuff and his stuff and it's a hot mess. And for the last couple of weeks, we've just been going there and dropping off buckets of stuff going in the garage, going through every box, deciding what we're keeping out right now, what we're gonna keep in storage and that we don't need for like another year or so and making tons of trips there and I've been sending just the guys so I know that it's a hot mess there so eventually we're gonna have to go they've buried things like the kids headboards and Paul's bed and his dresser like ever they've buried all the important stuff because they just keep dumping everything there so I think that eventually at the end of all this now that we have the house situated the best that we can be we have a few small projects but besides those small things we have the house right now pretty much set to where we need it to be to start buying some other furniture to go spend like a whole day at the storage shed taking everything out loading everything in a truck that we need and going through any additional boxes that we haven't gone through separating holiday stuff so it's easy to get to because <sighs> He said that he would like us to stay till March, till it's the busy season again. And I also said, okay, well, that's right after the holidays and Christmas and stuff. And so once Christmas is over, we can start looking for a place. But if it takes a little bit longer, you can't tell me I only have until March 1st. Like we're gonna need to go back to month to month after that so that I'm not locked into staying here for longer because this house is just not suited for us. But we are going to make the best of it. We unpacked everything. We decided, you know, if we're not going to buy right now, we can invest a little bit of our savings into buying some extra pieces of furniture, like a nice desk and stuff like that to set up our homeschooling area downstairs and to, you know, get some kind of partition for Paul so that he can have privacy up here in the game room. Um, so we have been really working hard for the last week. I took a couple of days and had a little bit of a breakdown just because I wanted so much more. We've all had it rough this year. Nobody anticipated anything the way that it has gone. And so I'm not saying like we are the only ones. It's just we, we made a lot of decisions prior to this not knowing any of this was going to happen and so because of that it's been one snowball effect after another i'm not saying that corona is not difficult but i definitely would have had an easier time dealing with all of that stuff had i had been home well not that that's home but had i had been in carolina where i was in my own home and they're having all of these situations where if you had financial struggles or anything that they're doing mortgage buyouts for this time like i just would have had resources if i needed it if i still were a homeowner i would have had like a two-car garage and all this extra space to put things and keep people in their own spaces it all just would have been different um but we made a lot of choices not knowing any of this stuff was going to happen and so by now we expected a little bit more stability for our kids and it's just been one snowball effect after another and i'm Again, everybody's going through it, so this is not any kind of pity party or anything like that. It's just still adjusting on our own to what the next year or so is going to hold for us. So what I have for you guys today, besides that little update, um, is just kind of taking you through a house update and I'm gonna have a bunch of videos coming up for you guys um, in the next couple of weeks or the next month or so of us doing all the additional additions and I'll just share them with you vlog style of how you know we're cleaning out the garage and just finishing out the things that we have planned we have a laundry list of things that we need to purchase now if we're gonna stay here just to make it you know suitable for us for that length of time but I guess that's where we're at you guys are always asking when we're moving what's going on with that um Daryl just 
is paperwork away from taking a position right now. They just finished with all of his references and his assessments and all of that. And so we're pretty much just paperwork away. It's not his dream job. He's not over the moon, but they gave him what he was looking for. So financially, what we were asking for plus bonus. So even more than what we were anticipating or wanting to aim for he got and the real reason why he officially decided this might be the place for him to go is there's very short turnaround time for advancement so he has a good shot at district in a very short amount of time so that was really good and that just means more for our family in the future so that's where we're at i guess right now so i'm going to take you right now into our little mini home tour and show you guys what we've been up to pulling together for the last couple of weeks all right you guys so i think we're going to start the tour off in my room so since we first moved in we didn't do too much changes to this room but we still have altered just a few things so we changed our bedding up and we finally put our bed on a bed frame and i just brought that little stand up from the office downstairs we just had that downstairs with just some decor and i brought it up here to use as like a makeshift nightstand because we do not have a formal bedroom set yet. We may get one while we're here, but I think we still may wait until we move. Daryl just has a little table set up for himself over there. And then this stuff we hung up a couple of months ago, just a few little decor pieces. That's like I painted that, one of those paint with wine kind of things. I had that made for Daryl and I for our anniversary. That's like a Target um, dollar spot thing. And then this is just our dresser. It's actually Mason's dresser. They're using Maya's set. So we're using Mason's dresser again because we don't have a formal bedroom set. So we're sharing this dresser. It's my side and his side. And I love how the dresser came out. I'm not really into the dark wood anymore, but I feel like the Ray Dunn white pieces with some of the little, that's the lemon from Target and then some white flowers from the Dollar Tree. I think it just looks, it looks cute up there. And then I have plans for what we're hanging up over here. So I'll show you guys what I got for Daryl for Father's Day. So I got him this canvas of my favorite picture of him and Maya. He absolutely loved it. It made him cry. He loves this. This is his favorite picture too. So I had this made from CVS into a canvas and I think that is what we're going to hang right there and then I'll get a canvas with a picture from our wedding because we don't have any wedding pictures hung up in our room right now and we'll just hang those there. And then right here I just have like a little snack table and a chair so that I can work up here if I need to. Downstairs the office is going to be more set up for homeschooling so I'm still going to need a place to work to do like a voiceover or something away from the kids. So I just put a kitchen chair up here and my laptop on a little snack table and that's what I'm going to have to work with for now. Don't mind this. I had to steal this for my daughter. That's right. That's all the nail polish that my mother bought my daughter for her birthday and she was painting her toys with it. So I had to sneak that away, but I like how all of that came out. And then this wall is empty too. So we have some stuff in storage that I think will look good hung up over there. So I don't think I'll have to get anything. And again, we don't have to go crazy, but we still want to make it feel homey. And this stuff you guys probably see, because this is where I stand when I do my intros, at least since quarantine, because with everybody home, it's just so much more quiet up here for me to work. So now I'm going to show you the bathroom and what we did in there. So not too many changes in here, but I did just change just a few little things. I do have to go through drawers, but I'm doing a drawers and closet organizational video that you guys are going to see at the end of the month. So that is in that video and the closet behind that door. So that you guys are not going to see right now, but doing these drawers and those closets I will do later. But for now, I just kind of more streamlined this. I put a lot of the stuff away that I had and just tried to make this a little bit more clean cut. I did just get that rug from Sam's and I hung these two pieces up that we had in the garage. This used to be hung in my bedroom and this was in my old bathroom, but it all just kind of ties in with the same colors. And I added a little decor up there and I cleaned all of this out. Well, I didn't clean in here. I straightened out up there. This is going to be part of that video you guys are going to see. And I put my little 
perfume bottle set thing out just kind of tried to give us like i said just a little bit more of the homey feel but nothing too too crazy so now let's walk out of this room into what will be kind of paul's room not really you guys will see what we did for paul but this part of the couch is going to go to the curb so the l shaped is now down at the patio which i will show you guys what we're doing out there but this is going to go to the curb we have to wait for bulk items pick up so for now it's just going to sit here but we still have to deal with the whole storage shed debacle so by the time we go through all of that it'll still be another week or two so we'll worry about the couch when we get there but this is where paul's bed is going to go right in here and then this was the computer and table that we had set up downstairs now this table was never supposed to be a desk and it's not going to be a desk anymore well now it's going to end up being a tv stand but my brother bought me this for christmas like two years ago it was on sale at kirkland's for 99 dollars. so that was my christmas present from him and when we came here we didn't have a lot of furniture because we had stuff in the pod still and a lot of stuff we got rid of because we thought we were going to replace it when we got here. So this stand became a desk and a lot during distance learning, it took such a beating. Like this is the way it's supposed to look, washed like that. And this is from my kids sitting at it. And this is like, you know, oils from your body and them like picking at it and stuff. There's like crayon written on it. So I'm gonna try and fix this and refinish it i'm really sad never even got to use it for what it's used going to be used for but this computer is only here temporarily i just don't want it sitting on the floor downstairs but once the desk comes for the office downstairs then this will go back down there and this will be the stand where paul's tv goes and at costco i saw these really sick beanbag chairs that almost looked like armchairs but they were beanbag chairs and they had cup holders i think they were like 60 or 70 bucks i was thinking about getting two of them to put here and here because the Wii and stuff is up here so when Paul's not sleeping the kids can use his TV for the Wii and stuff and be able to sit in those chairs and everything and now you guys need to give me your suggestions or your opinions because I've been looking online everywhere trying to find some kind of partition or room divider something we can just put here at night and then slide back like an accordion door or something but I don't know how to work the tracks because then it gets in line with the ceiling fan and then it messes up the door to the kids because if the kids door is in his space then that kind of defeats the purpose of giving him some kind of privacy so we're trying to work that out but we're trying to work with what we work with none of us expected it to go down this way but this room is completely not what it looked like the other day so eventually that'll be the tv stand all that stuff will go down to the office and this will be paul's bed and then we'll have two little beanbag chairs over there as far as the little doodle kids room this hasn't changed too much maya you want to wave and say hi now she's still mad at me because she got in trouble over her nail polish um, this wall we're not going to hang anything on because we need to fish out their headboard and footboard from the storage shed. So once we get that, it, it's going to take up a good chunk of this wall. So I don't think we're going to hang anything here. Their headboard and footboard matches their dressers. I'm so sad that Babies Are Us closed because their sets came from there and they were expensive, but they were really, really worth it. So I think the dressers were like six or $700, but that's a nice dresser. And I loved the color. I felt like that was very neutral for Maya, something that I would want that dresser right now. So I feel like that's something she could take with her. And then her crib turned into a full-size bed so this is a full-size mattress and then that goes on her headboard and footboard which we already have and this is actually the bed frame we've had this as soon as we knew babies or us was closing we went ahead and got the conversion kit for her crib to turn into the bed because we knew by the time she needed it babies or us would already be long closed so we've had that for a couple of years waiting to set it up so now they're going to get their bed frame and the headboard and footboard and they're going to use mayas because you saw masons it's kind of dark so that's more a man's color i feel but this gray is a little bit more neutral for mason and Maya they just have a little bookshelf right there and this was in the little office area downstairs so we just brought this up here and then in her closet 
you guys will see more details of this in that closet and drawer organization video but this is just that thing that was in that toy room that I had to move in here and what you guys are going to see is us going through the top and organizing all of the bins and here is our coats from downstairs we had to use them right now for this closet because we gave the coat closet to Paul to use for his room so um, that's pretty much it for the kids room um, no changes in the laundry room although I have tons of laundry going so um, do not laugh at me but we have this shelf here, but I think I want to put another one right there and maybe a lower one just because I'm super short. And so sometimes if the stuff's pushed all the way back there, I can't get it. I have no room to put my little decor. I know it sounds crazy, but I like my laundry room decor. Um, and there's not a lot of space for like, then you can't get into the dryer with our baskets. So maybe if we had a little upper shelf just to put the baskets on, it would give us a little bit more room. And here my laundry room was so much bigger in the old house. And then I moved Maya's little vanity to this little area because that's what was over there. So I just moved it here just to get it out of the way. And it's like close to the bathroom so she can still sit and play around. No difference in here. But again, you guys are going to see that closet and drawer organization video because you guys have never seen this. This is my overstock overflow of me couponing that I still have. When we were moving, Daryl's like, wait, you're bringing all this stuff with us? Yeah, what was I going to do with it? I could have donated it, but we're still working off of it, which is fantastic, especially now during this time. So... That's like all of our tooth stuff up there and yeah, I'm not even going to get into it all because you guys will see it then, but this closet is crazy. So it needs a little bit of an overhaul. That's some stuff I just found in the garage that has to get put away and I don't have much under here. So I really need to use this to space some of that stuff out in there. So it just makes it a little bit easier. And then Jake's room. You guys are going to see in a whole separate video because that's part of his 16th birthday is we're going to redo his room again we're not staying here but if he's going to be doing distance learning in his room he needs like a good desk his headboards in storage so he wants that back and his stuff hung up and he just needs it set up for him so that's what we're going to do for him so you guys will see what's behind closed doors then and look you guys the kids broke one of the blinds it's fabulous but seriously, that would be the fourth blind that broke here. And we keep having to replace them. It's really annoying. And I keep replacing them with like nicer ones. Like these are the crappy ones with the strings. That's why they keep breaking. And then we keep on buying the ones that just, you know, go up and down with no strings. So he's definitely going to get a whole <laughs> new set of blinds when we're done here. But that's okay. That's okay. It's all good karma, right? It's going to come back. All right, let's go downstairs. All right, you guys. So I'm standing now at the last two steps before going down into the living room and this definitely feels more like home to me because we moved a lot of stuff so my kids are actually starting to get a little bit older where i can hang a little up a little bit more decor and put some stuff out where they're not going to hit it and knock into it a lot of stuff i didn't put out at the clover house because maya was so young and they were just getting into that so that i've had hung up since my pod came um but we just like i said put a little bit of stuff out there and then this isn't supposed to be like this this is a gift that i got for christmas and i absolutely love this tv stand it matches pretty much that desk up there the thought process eventually was to have it all in one spot but that's not going to happen for right now but this is the tv we got ourselves on black friday and then i just put some summer like decor stuff out and we just have a little bin of the kids choice i'm trying to look for another kind of thing like that that's wicker baskets in like a cut out frame but it's black it's it'll work there for now but i want to find one that kind of matches this material that i can stick right here and put the kids toys in there so it's a little bit you know nicer and concealed and i'll probably just leave that corner space empty and then the chair was here we moved that into the office and this was also upstairs in that game room so i just brought this down here for the kids to have a little nook to play and i'm going to get a fake plant and put it right there this way aesthetically it kind of hides 
your eyes will get drawn to the plant instead of the toys, I guess. I don't know. I put a little like satchel of Dollar Tree flowers just on top just to make it look cute. I'm sure the kids are going to play with it and touch up there. So I didn't want to put any like bric-a-brac, but I figure a plant will look nice. And then I just put some decor up on this ledge that's like summer stuff i found my summer box which was really awesome now this is going to be more of an update for you guys so this is the little lounge that was right here so i moved this in here maya's little toy chest thing that was right here is what was up in her room so this is going to be a place for the kids to read and stuff like that because this is going to be more or less our school room so this will be a little reading nook both of them can actually sit on this together if they wanted to and use their Chromebooks and stuff that they're getting from school so that they can use what they need to do for their school activities. And then I just moved my file cabinet here for now. I'm gonna need to find some kind of table to put our modem and phone on. And I just found the cutest little table and chair set for $29 at Ikea and they have a pickup. So I'll be placing an Ikea order for sure. And I'm gonna get that little table for them for the corner. And then the desk that I found is from Amazon and it's perfect. It's gonna be able to fit right here in this corner. These are the chairs that we're gonna use because it's an L-shaped desk. So we'll have two separate workstation so if both the littles have to be working jay can work in his room and the littles could be working or if one has a break time they could be sitting there doing some handwritten work or they could be doing uh, some kind of project or a snack or reading or whatever so we'll have two different stations for them and then two different stations here i could even be sitting here and editing while one is working and one's over there so this is pretty much where we're going to be living during the school year and eventually we're going to get good chairs and stuff it's just this is gonna be in stages so I'm really excited about this room I'll probably get another little fake plant to go right here this is where that stand was that just became my nightstand in my room it was right here so uh, that is now my nightstand but I'm excited about how this is going to turn out I might put some shelves up here for whatever resources we may need for the kids for schooling papers any of that kind of stuff that's what this is gonna be in and this is the room our Christmas tree goes in. So unless we change things up a bit, I might have to redo this just for the holidays or maybe we'll stick it here, the Christmas tree. But then where, where does all the, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. That's the holidays are the only thing that's gonna become an issue because I put stuff everywhere because I love the holidays. So I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with that. Nothing in the bathroom has changed. This is just a pretty basic bathroom. I did just add a little plant in there and you guys will see under the cabinet organization in that other video. And then this, I hung up myself. I've had that for a while, but this is going to be Paul's like room-ish kind of thing. I don't really know if you wanna say room, but this, closet is the smartest thing I've ever seen for an under the stairs Harry Potter closet because this thing is huge so we had this as our coat closet so all of our coats and everything were hung in here and then we just had like winter stuff up here and then a whole bunch of boxes packed in here but now this is a perfect system for him I mean he doesn't have bric-a-brac and all of that kind of stuff nor does he need that right now so and even if he wanted to we he has a dresser in storage that we said we could put here and he could put some little bric-a-brac kind of stuff on here but he has all these little systems set up in place for himself and we still think we're going to get one more of these to stack up there that'll give him a little bit more space and once his bed's upstairs he won't need his linen because right now he's sleeping on the couch so once he gets his bed out of storage that'll go away and then this will be a little bit more organized we're gonna get him some more like wicker bins and give him some storage over there and we even said we could hang some hooks for him here in case he needed extra hangy stuff and we're gonna hang hooks all down this one for backpack stuff if the kids do go back to school I still highly doubt it we're still pretty much basing our life off of it being a homeschool situation so that's where we're going with that. And then, you wanna say hi, Dottie? Does you wanna say hi? Oh yeah, she's a goodie. 
yeah you can see why we have a blanket on the couch right because these dogs just lie here and they lie in the dirt and then they lie on my couch and they're dirty um so here's our little like shoe station area i guess we're very accustomed to having a mud room that's what we had in our old house and we're just used to having a place like that to put our shoes when we come in and out and we don't have a whole lot of closet space so we can't really store our own shoes in our own personal closets so i contemplated back and forth if i want to put bar stools here and make it like a breakfast bar or not but i chose the shoe station so these are actually the shoe racks that we had in the mud room at the old house <laughs> that's so funny i'm sitting here talking about the shoes and i can actually smell that silly feet stuff the grape lollipop spray i can actually smell that in their shoes while i'm standing over it. i've been like neurotic with that that stuff smells so good and i can smell it standing here um so this is what i'm using for their little like shoe station and then here is my little decor i guess the section it's the only place i really have to display any kind of personality with the things that i like so i have a little stand with my candle and our nest is best that's cute it's from the dollar tree and this is from target and i have it laid out here Paul just went out to the garage to get a way to tie this up. I keep putting it up and it keeps falling down. So he's going to figure out a way to twine this up so that it doesn't fall down. But I want to hang the welcome sign from here. Especially if we're not going to use it as a breakfast bar, then I can hang something off of it. So I love this little thing. This was really cute. This was in my summer box. I just have it with my lantern. And I have my cute little stuff hanging up. You guys, my hydrangea is already dying. It hasn't even been a week. It makes me so sad. And I'm not going to go buy any more flowers. And I hate when I don't have flowers. I wish they would have lasted a little longer. But I got my little fly punch right there. And that stuff set up. That's a picture of me and Jake at my wedding. So cute. I love that. So I have that with my little mermaid tail summery kind of decor from the Dollar Tree. And this I got a while ago my ray done and then here's that silly feet stuff you guys i told you that i would let you know how this is so i'll link their information down below but the magic sh shoe spray this grape lollipop that's what i said i can smell in their shoes and this bubble gum shoe powder is I don't know half gone already because it's the summertime and everyone's feet sweat so as soon as everybody comes in and they put their shoes up at night i go ahead and walk by and sprinkle the powder in their shoes and then before they put it on i put a spritz of that grape lollipop in there and just kind of use the foot spray so i've been really neurotic with using this stuff so i will link their company and all of their information for you guys down below but they are really worth giving a try because mama don't play with the stinky feet and it's definitely the season for that so i again i'll link that stuff down below if you guys want to check it out but then now here we're in to the kitchen and this excites me a little bit too you guys because this is where again i got to hang up a little bit of stuff and feel like it's home so i had this hung up at the top of my stairs in the old house so it's nice to see that and then daryl hung all those things up for me that's my little long island sign can you guys see it there's such a glare it says home is where the heart is and that on long island is where i was from in selden so that's where the little heart is and i just have love is the answer and a little basket i forget where i got that from and then this bar cart holy cow this thing is so old but we have our dish towels and stuff in there now and some extra plates and stuff like that and that's just mail and storage you guys the garage I'm not really going to show you. I'm going to turn the light on and show you that it's a work in progress and we are not done. So we're working on it. We moved our freezer over. The fridge is going to get moved over to here. And most of these boxes are going into storage. And then we'll have a pretty empty garage. So I'm pretty impressed. But you guys are going to see this in a future video. So I'm not going to dwell too much on it right now. There was only so much we could accomplish in a short amount of time. So my kitchen table... I don't know you guys i don't know if i'm gonna keep this i love this kitchen table this is like italian marble i had it sent from not marble granite it's italian granite and i had it sent 
from Italy. Like, I didn't have it sent. I went to a furniture shop, but it was behind. And when I asked, like, where it was, they said it was stuck on a boat on the way from Italy to the States. And it took a while to get through customs. I don't know why I even share that story. But anyways, I really love this table. Daryl and I got it, I think, in our second apartment that we lived in in 2006. So this table owes us nothing. Um, but the chairs are just, we've moved so many times that now they all have holes on them. And then in transition of us moving this past time, the corner got nicked a little bit. So I'm probably only going to keep this table functional for here. And then I think we're going to go ahead and get rid of it before we even move so another work in progress that you guys will see like updates again I couldn't do it all but I'm gonna set up decor and stuff like that on top of the refrigerator right now I just have mishmash and I have so many things inside of our cabinets and stuff and I had so many dishes in the garage that when I started pulling everything out I realized I didn't have places for anything so for now I put a bunch of those appliances up there I got very inspired by Vanessa I think that her usage of space is limited, but not. I think she's utilizing herself really, really well. And so I took a lot of inspiration from her as far as what she wants to do. So for now, I put them up here, but we're going to get like big shelving units to line that wall in the garage. Once it's all cleaned out, you guys will see that like we'll clean out the garage and put shelves up and then all these appliances and stuff are going to end up going out there and it's not a big deal if I have to go to the garage to get my crock pot but it'll just help eliminate space but it helped me because I was able to organize everything like now our drawers are more cohesive everything was so mishmashed but once I knew we were staying I went and pulled out all of my bamboo like little liners and got it to where everything looks good like I'm really really happy with being able to have everything spaced out so everything's not not so crazy that makes me feel really really good so I love that I felt really super overwhelmed with the way that everything was set up but now everything's so spaced out like look at my junk drawer you guys who has a junk drawer that looks this good look my little batteries are all in line and I have little boxes for my wires and stuff like I, everything came out really good uh, not everything is done these need some work like I have to organize a little bit under there but I mean I feel good about where we were at I cut all of this stuff down this is actually a little tray that Leanne over at Grady's mom her husband started making all this woodwork stuff he started his own little Etsy shop called grade a woodworks and that's all different pieces of wood and he made this little tray so I simplified my life and I didn't use that big tray and now I just went down to the small little tray for my coffee station but I like it, it makes everything look more clean cut and then my pantry this was a big thing for us too because now I knew that we were staying I knew I would have to do like a little bit more in here ah! what are you doing in here Oh, you were trying to hide because I was filming? That's okay. You're fine. Get out of my closet, though. I want to show them the closet, you butt. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. So, I just ordered this on Amazon. I'll link it in my Amazon store, but it's just like an over-the-door thing, and we mounted it to Hi. the... <laughs> We mounted it to the door, but I got all of my spices out of there and onto the door and I got all of my sandwich bags and stuff here. So that was really helpful and it was allowed me to space our stuff out because it's a pretty decent sized pantry, except it goes in deep and you can't see back there. And then there's this little table thing. So you can't really get in there and it's dark. So we got a little motion light. Hold on. Let it come on. Yeah, buddy. So we had this in my pantry in the old house. It's $30 at Home Depot and it's worth every penny. It takes D batteries. If you overuse it, then it's, but you'll have to replace the batteries often, but it's worth it because look how much light is in here. It lets me see everything. So I absolutely love the way this all came out and allowed me to be organized and I have my 
baskets and dog food and all that stuff down there so this really worked out really really good and then the last but not least and you guys will see again a little bit more of a detail once this is all done but this is that couch from upstairs we moved it down here to the patio and we have the little drink coolers one on each side of the couch and then we just got a tarp because I don't want this guy to get wet when it rains. So we're gonna hang a tarp here and close this in a little bit more. And I have pineapple lights. Can you guys see those? I'm gonna hang the pineapple lights from the inside of the tarp so it gives our lounge like a little bit more of a summer feel for us to just kind of sit out here. We have the fans and stuff out here and we just kind of chillax and so. I think that's it for our tour, you guys. All right, you guys, so that was it for our little home tour. Like I said, I have tons of videos coming up where we're gonna show you more of the office developing and Jake's room re-being done and what Paul's room looks like. And like I said, we're gonna do that closet video and the garage, so still lots more content sharing that kind of stuff with you. But I was really hoping to share with you guys some kind of real official moving vlog of us kind of packing up here and setting up in a new home home but we're gonna have to postpone that I guess for a little while and you guys are just gonna have to come along with me on some updates and hopefully you guys will still be with me when we're tackling that come next year but thank you guys again so much for watching I love you guys all so much everything that you guys need as far as past videos that can catch you up to where we're at will be linked down below as well as all the information about silly feet if you want to check them out I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys in the next one Bye, guys.